Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and I've been having a hard time getting my cell phone to work in my home office down here. And the other day I got in this kit from WeBoost. This is their home multi-room set that allows you to bring in a cell signal from outside and amplify it so that all of your phones in the house can get a decent connection. And we tested this out a little bit earlier and it seems to be working quite well. Now this is an expensive kit, about $550. But there are other solutions we're going to talk about in this video that might cost you less. So we'll have a lot of different strategies here for approaching the problem of getting phones to work in your house. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that the WeBoost kit here came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review, nor is anyone reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what this thing is all about. So let's take a closer look now at the hardware. This kit is designed for larger spaces. They say you can get about 5,000 square feet of coverage with this, probably enough to go through three or four rooms based on where you place the antenna. Now there are two antennas here. You've got an outdoor antenna, and what they want you to do with this one is point it in the direction of your nearest cell tower. And you might have to tweak things a bit until you get everything exactly lined up. And if you get a very weak signal outside of your home, you're probably going to have to get this up on a pole or up on the roof to get a better line of sight to your closest tower. If you have no signal at all, this is probably not going to magically create one for you, but it will take a very weak signal and make it stronger. Uh, but you'll again need to get out there and figure it out. Uh, they do have pole mounts in the box to get this thing mounted properly, so you should have enough to get started with. Although they don't give you a lot of cable. They give you a grand total of uh, 60 feet across three cables. So you have one long 30-foot cable and two shorter 15-foot cables. I don't think that's nearly enough for the kind of project that this is. Uh, it uses standard RG6 cable, the kind of cable you use for your TV wiring and whatnot, so you shouldn't have a hard time finding more cable, uh, but just be prepared to order some cable to make all of this work. Now the outdoor antenna will plug into the amplifier here. This is a really solid piece of equipment here, all metal, pretty heavy, uh, and you will take that outside antenna and plug it into this port here. And then you take the cable coming out of the indoor antenna here and plug it into the back of the amplifier, into the inside antenna port. You plug the power in and it will just start working. Here in the US, this supports all of the major US carriers. It worked with 3G and LTE in our testing. And they also say it's 5G compatible, although I would imagine it's probably the low band 5G and not some of the higher band with millimeter wave stuff that they're coming up with with 5G. But I think if you're in an area where you need something like this, the low band 5G is probably about all you're gonna get. So it's really easy to get it up and running. And we did a test last night with this uh, in pretty much the least ideal way to set it up. I just wanted to see what would happen if I put the outdoor antenna near a window, which I did, and then I put the indoor antenna inside this little room I have behind me. And this room runs under my front porch. So it has a metal ceiling along with concrete on top of that. It's got two narrow concrete walls and they're kind of like double walls because we have the wall for the basement kind of abutting uh, the wall of this front porch thing. Uh, and then of course the floor is concrete. And when I put my phone in the middle of this room, it dies completely. No Wi-Fi, no cell signal, nothing. So what we did uh, is we had this amplifier come into play, put the phone in the middle of the room, and when I plugged in the amplifier, it only took a few seconds for everything to come to life and the phone starts working again, just like that. And I was getting the very same signal I would get if I was sitting at my desk by the window, which is the only place where the phone works. Now, if I properly mounted this thing, I would imagine we'd get an even better signal out there and I'll be doing that soon. I do have to get more cable and I wanna bring in a professional to help me get the cabling into the house properly. Uh, but in that test back there where it's a virtual Faraday cage, uh, this thing worked remarkably well without any hassle. Plug it in and you're done. And I think that was pretty remarkable to see uh, something like this work so easily out of the box. So as long as you got this antenna pointed in the right direction, I think you're gonna be in good shape and it's going to boost the signal. And no matter who shows up at your house, whether they got a Verizon phone, an AT&T phone or something else, 
uh, there's a good chance that phone is going to work, including even just flip phones, because all you're doing here again is amplifying signal and not doing anything with the internet or anything else like that. It's just going to uh, work with whatever radio signals it can receive. Pretty cool stuff. Now we also made a phone call to see how this works in a more practical way. I called up my friend Mark here. You can have a listen to that call right now. So we did data and we did a phone call and you can hear me and I can hear you. Yeah, no echo, no, no dropping or anything. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> All right, you're welcome. Thanks for the call. So the call went through just as any other call would. I was able to have a conversation without any noticeable lag or delay or anything. No apps needed, of course. So for a phone call, no problem. I also did some data testing as well. Now, the cell tower that's nearest my home is a 4G LTE tower, but it's not very fast. Even when you're sitting right under it, you're lucky if you get five or six megabits per second in both directions. And I was getting about what I usually get outside my house playing around on that cell tower, about two or three megabits per second. I don't think this is doing any better or worse than what I would normally get off of that tower. Although I think if we were to mount the antenna higher and get it directed better, we might see a little bit better performance. And if you're fortunate enough to have a faster tower near you, uh, you could certainly gain a lot of benefit from having a better signal coming in and out of your home, which might result in better bandwidth. Now, if you don't want to spend this much and have a smaller space that you're trying to bring signal to, they do have less expensive kits available that work the same way. Uh, so this concept will apply to some of the other kits that they have in their product line. Uh, and it's definitely worth checking out. But there's another option that your carrier provides you called Wi-Fi calling. And this is something that I suggest everyone try first before you spend any money at all. And what this does is it routes your cellular phone calls through your local Wi-Fi connection when you're at home. And that will usually get the job done if you're really concerned about missing calls when you are in certain rooms of your house. Let's take a look now and see how you might set it up on an iPhone with Verizon. Now on the iPhone, Wi-Fi calling can be found in your settings screen on the cellular option here. And what you'll see usually when you go into the cellular menu is an option for Wi-Fi calling. Now I have Verizon as a carrier. Uh, so Verizon supports this feature and my particular iPhone supports this feature too. If I were to switch this on, what would happen would be that every call I make while I'm on Wi-Fi will get routed over the internet versus the cell tower. And this works just like any other call would work. So I don't have to load up an app or anything. Uh, when I'm at home on Wi-Fi, the calls just go through the internet but ring the same way. And it kind of works similar to how an amplifier might work, but you don't have to buy any equipment. And it might work very well in your particular situation. So I would try it first, provided your carrier supports it and your phone supports it. Every phone is going to configure this stuff a little bit differently. If you don't see the option, you might want to give your carrier a call to see if they have to enable something on their side to make it work. But I think for a lot of people, this is going to solve the problem. For me, it didn't solve the problem because I have a Wi-Fi mesh system in my house and the system that I'm using, which is the Unify uh, Ubiquity Access Points, uh, when the handoff happens from one Wi-Fi access point to another as I'm walking through the house, I'm often losing calls. The calls are dropping when I walk from the basement to the kitchen, for example. It got pretty annoying. I also found that when I left the house, sometimes the calls were not getting tossed over to the cell tower as I left the Wi-Fi connection. So it, for me, it just wasn't working well enough to keep it on. It became more of an annoyance than a convenience, but your mileage may vary. So see what works for you. Give it a shot. Usually the carriers don't charge extra for this feature. And if you got a very bad signal in your house, this is something you should try first before buying an amplifier. But if your phone doesn't support Wi-Fi calling, then you need to go the amplification route. And I have to say, I'm really impressed by how well this one is working. And I think if you are in the market for an amplifier, this one seems to do the job quite well. And that's going to do it for this one. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Rajesh, Logic GR, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month.
Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.